everybody, it's Colette Baron reed and welcome to the Universal Energy Forecast for this week, January the 25th. We are finally out of that Mercury retrograde hairball. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty good that things are moving forward and it certainly looks like in the reading this week, we are also going to be seeing this in our lives. So I wanna remind everybody, when we do the Universal Energy Forecast, it's not about a prophecy. It's not even so much about a prediction as it is about understanding the nature of the weather, the energetic weather that's affecting all of us. So these are more invitations to look at this particular subject in your life this week. So these are predominant themes that we're all going to be dealing with. Um, so the first card for this week is soulmates. And soulmates talks about harmonious partnerships. It talks about those kismet moments when you start to realize that the people in your life are there for divine purpose. And it also reminds us that we meet new people in that way where we're just synchronistically thrown into the mix with somebody that turns out to be somebody that's very special for us. So soulmates are not really necessarily talking about um, romantic partnerships, but also business partnerships and and creative partnerships and um, you know and just recognizing that we are not alone that we work our life with others and so we see the evidence of those um, people in harmony with us this week now uh, the observer card in the protection position is all about needing to get a different uh, pair of eyes to look at something so so this is because we started with partnerships this is also saying to us we need to turn to those people for advice so we are not creating just by our own devices and sometimes we say that we're behind enemy lines if we're thinking too much and and we do need other people's opinions we might think that we're going in the right track but in fact we need another pair of eyes to look at something and so this is a great week to get what we need from other people now, to be fair, which is one of my most favorite cards, it's so beautiful, and my most favorite color, which is blue, if you haven't noticed. Anyway, um, so to be fair is about balance. Now, it's not about, oh, we have to have lifestyle balance, that's not what it is. It's really about looking at things from all angles and assuring that the integrity of what it is that you're applying yourself to this week, whatever your energy is focused on, remember this, that whatever you re re repeat, reinforce, and uh, reestablish over and over again in your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs when they're attached especially to feelings, that's how you're going to create your reality was from that place. So here's it saying that we need to really step back intellectually too and really um, pragmatically take a look at some of our choices and who we're aligned with and um, you know the opinions of others and how they affect us um, and what could we learn in a really positive way for that so that we come into a greater integrity and balance with where we want to go. And the end is building blocks. So what tells me is happening this week is that we're really all um, uh, being invited to take a look at the foundations of our world, who is in our life, you know, what kind of friends do we have, um, colleagues, creative partners, etc., um, and lovers, and uh, and how do we work closely with these people to co-create a reality for the highest good of all? And it does show this week is very predominant that these partnerships are good, and that in fact. Um, when we engage them and, and we invite them to play with us, that amazing things can happen and really good solid foundations can be set. So great week uh, for partnerships. So till I talk to you next week, see ya. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm here every week. Take care. Traveling down the road, I didn't know that I was lost. I had tried too many shortcuts, and the cost left my heart broken. So I had it closed for a